Hi everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be learning about one of the most well-known dinosaurs, and that's the Triceratops. Just to reiterate, that's pronounced Triceratops. I hope you're ready to learn some facts, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. The Triceratops was first discovered in Denver, Colorado, USA in 1887. That means it was found in North America. But prior to its discovery, it roamed the earth for many years in prehistoric times. And so it lived during the Cretaceous period, and that was about 145 and a half to 65 and a half million years ago. And this period is very important because it was one of the last times that dinosaurs existed as how we remember them, not including the modern day dinosaurs that are birds. But the Triceratops was a massive beast and it was an herbivore. So it was approximately 25 to 30 feet long and it was nine and a half to 9.8 feet tall. Now this was really great for the Triceratops because with it being an herbivore, it had many predators, but it had this great stature that it could use to defend itself. So the Triceratops actually gets its name from some of its defining features, and its name means three-horned face. It comes from the family Ceratopsidae, and within that family, some of their characteristics include beaks, frilled necks, but what distinguishes the Triceratops is its three horns and that it's a quadrupedal. Now the beak, uh, the beak was good for being able to take uh, vegetation off of stalks and things like that. And the frilled neck served multiple purposes. For one, it could be used as a form of protection, but also it could be used to attract mates. It's believed that it could change colors and that it could even be used to regulate heat. Now the three horns, are very significant because they could be used as a form of protection against its predators. It had two very long horns above its brows and one above its nose. And with it being a quadrupedal, that just means that it moved on four legs. So it's believed that the Triceratops lived in open plains and dry forests, and with this being an herbivore, it needed access to a lot of vegetation like ferns, conifers, and cycads all the while trying to avoid predators like the T-Rex. Yes, the T-Rex lived during the Cretaceous period, and some evidence has shown that the Triceratops and T-Rex actually end up in some fights together. Today, we have learned a few facts about the Triceratops. I hope you found this video very beneficial. Now, the Triceratops is a very interesting dinosaur, and even when it was first discovered, scientists were trying to figure out what kind of beast it was, and they compared it to um, some kind of prehistoric bison, which is understandable given that it had horns, it's massive stature. But now we know that's not the case. And so there's tons of resources out there to learn more about the Triceratops. I've linked some of the ones that I used in the description below. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And in the comments section, let me know what's your favorite dinosaur, and I'll be sure to try and create a video for it as soon as possible. Thanks.